This tutorial will demonstrate how to set up a new presentation experiment. A presentation experiment involves several elements. For stimuli not generated dynamically by presentation, you will provide stimulus files stored on disk. The descriptions that determine what happens during your experiment are stored in text files called scenario files. These files are written by you when you implement your experiment. Finally, there are various settings displayed in the main presentation window, including references to scenario files and locations of stimulus files. These settings are stored in a single file called the experiment file. The experiment file is what identifies a presentation experiment. All of these files may be stored anywhere you like on your hard drive. Presentation does not force you to use any particular file organization. For this tutorial, I will create a new directory for the experiment file and scenario files with subdirectories for data files and stimulus files. To start a new experiment, click New Experiment from the Experiment menu or click the Toolbar button on the main tab toolbar. The experiment name may be anything you like. This name is displayed at the top of the main tab and is also used to identify packaged experiments run using the presentation package player. There are two important directory settings called the log file directory and the stimulus directory, which can be set on the scenarios tab. The log file directory is the directory in which data files produced during the experiment are stored by default. The stimulus directory is the default location where presentation will look for stimulus files if complete file names are not provided for them. Select a directory on your system using the Directory Browse box on the Scenarios tab. Any files currently contained in the selected directory will be displayed in the File List box below. To set the current selected directory as the Log File Directory or Stimulus Directory, click on one of the left arrow buttons. To see the contents of either directory at any time, click the right arrow buttons. The current selection of the Directory Browse box is itself not significant and not used for anything by presentation. The Settings tab contains the vast majority of other settings that affect the experiment. These settings will be described in Part 2 of this tutorial. For this experiment, we will need at least one scenario. Use the Presentation Editor to create a new scenario file. I will enter minimal code to get started. and then save this file to the experiment folder I have created. The scenario file name may be anything you like. Next, we must tell the experiment to use this scenario. Go back to the Scenarios tab and select the folder containing the scenario file you just saved. Select the file and click the left arrow button to add it as a scenario for the experiment. If the same scenario is run multiple times in an experiment, you may add it multiple times. The Scenarios box has a context menu for removing scenarios. To create additional scenarios, repeat this process. The order of scenarios may be changed by dragging and dropping scenarios in the Scenarios box. The scenarios for an experiment are also displayed at the bottom of the Main tab. This box will match the one on the Scenarios tab. At this point, you may want to save the main experiment file. This file contains all the settings in the presentation window. In general, experiment files do not need to be in the same folder as the scenario files they use. Experiment files have a file extension of .exp. Once an experiment has been saved, the file name of the experiment file will be displayed on the main tab. Since I entered some minimal code in my scenario files, which does nothing, I can also now run the experiment. On the Scenarios tab, I can see that log files were produced in the log file directory for that run. Now you are ready to start programming your experiment. In this tutorial, we have been setting everything up manually. 
Presentation has a feature called Quick Start that can do some of these steps for us. To use this feature, select Quick Start from the Experiment menu. First, select the location and name for the experiment file. For this demonstration, we will generate one scenario file and one SDF file. The Quick Start feature does the following things. It creates a scenario file with some minimal code, saves it to disk, and opens it in the editor. It adds that scenario file as a scenario for the experiment. It sets the log file directory and stimulus directory to the directory containing the experiment file. Finally, it generates and saves an SDF file and sets that file as the SDF file for the experiment. The experiment file and any other generated files are all stored in the same directory. We can see the files generated by Quick Start in the File List box on the Scenarios tab.